Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So today we are doing a faux leather cover for our recycled art junk journals. Um, so I'm going to show you how I do it and what I do. I have a few uh, videos on my channel um, showing you, you know, how I do it. And it's pretty much always the same way. But I thought, you know what? Um, I'm very blessed. I got a lot of new subscribers and I haven't done one in a while. So if you've already seen it and you're not interested, um, I'm sorry, you know, please go find another video of mine or, you know, somebody that you love and go watch them. Um, but I do want to show this because a lot of you are interested in um, different, you know, different types of journals. This is going to be a journal I'm making to sell. And when I'm done, I'll let you know. I got a lot of requests for uh, journals. So I'm going to be working on and making a bunch of journals. Okay, so. And if you're interested, stay tuned. I have a winner for the uh, Mod Podge paper from the other day. So I will let you guys know in a few minutes. Okay, so I am using Mod Podge paper. Um, and that's what I'm using for this. But of course, let me just say it because I know some of you get upset, excuse my arm, um, that you don't have it. But you can use a uh, regular Mod Podge mat, you can use Collage Podge, you can use your white school glue, just put a little bit of water in it, just the littlest bit to help spread it out if it's a little thick. Um, you can use a glue stick, you can use anything really that you have that will stick it down. Um, I'm sure there's other ones, decoupage, uh, you know, that kind of thing. I'm using Mod Podge paper. Um, and I have a bag, just your normal brown paper bag, and I'm gonna show you what I do. So first I take my round, my brown, my round, my brown paper bag and I squirt it with just a little bit of water to get it a little, uh, damp, what a icky word. It's like moist. It's moist. Ugh. And I go like this. Okay. And I give it a little roly poly and I'll do my thing. Right. And then I leave it sit for a few minutes. Now this is it been sitting and I will take sometimes my heat gun or my hair dryer depends on how thin the brown paper is. You can do this with any color. I mean, you can do this with tissue paper, I mean, whatever you have. It's giving you texture. It's giving you, um, you know, you can use instead of the colors I'm going to use, you can use, you know, if you use a blue tissue paper or blue paper, um, you can use, you know, different color blues. Uh, and that would be beautiful. It would be blue, like teal leather. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, I have it, I'm squishing it now. I'm gonna, well, no, you know what? I'm gonna let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna unwind this one that I already did this to. And uh, ta-da, look at that, okay? Now look, here, right here, it's not as crunchy as I want it to be. So what I would do is go in and squirt it a little bit more. I would start there and make sure, cause you know, the bigger the piece, it's harder to, um, you know, smush it real good. And that's all I would do. And I roll it and really smush it or I'll give it to Dave so he can smush it. And then just easily, you know, you don't want to do it too hard. You just kind of want to work it out. And let's work it. Let's work it. Let's work it out. Okay. And then pick whatever side you like better. Okay. So what I will do first, and here's another piece that I did that's dried earlier. You can see it completely dry, but I'm going to lay this one on top. Don't be afraid to layer, you know, don't be afraid if it layers over or whatever, doesn't matter. Now, right here, this is one thing you have to pay attention to when you lay over something or in general, wherever you lay it, you're going to have edges. So you really want to make sure that you get that glue in there and you get that glue down and really push it. And I will push it real good with my fingers in a minute. So then, and don't worry if it hangs over, I'm going to show you what we'll do at the end. See what side you like best. And then just lay it down and run your fingers over those edges. You really want to rub that product, whatever product you're using. And I do put it on top sometimes. I don't, you know, I don't smash the paper down, but I will very lightly kind of push it down everywhere. Maybe take a little bit more and just to soften it a bit. And I will lightly push it. 
or squish it. Hold it for a second. The stuff glues very quickly. It dries very quickly. And then go in the middle and kind of lightly push in case there's any bubbles. And then I'm going to push here with my fingers to get that seal on that edge. And that is how easy that is. So now we have this end down here. So I'm going to tear. It's nice if you tear it, you get these nice like edges, you know. Um, and I think I'm going to, hmm, what way? Maybe I'll do it right here. And I'm just putting it down. So you can see where any glue works. Um, like I said, I do love my Mod Podge paper. I love my Mod Podge fabric. It's the greatest thing in the world. It just doesn't dry sticky or anything. But look, people swear by Mod Podge as well. It's totally up to you. Oh, I'll need a little bit up here for that little boopy piece. And I'm just lightly tapping it around so it sticks. Sticking it down, and I'm just going to a little bit in the middle there. Those edges need a little bit more. Come on now. Same deal. Just touch those edges down. Just a little bit of a, a mush. Pat it. Like I said, not too much, because those wrinkles are really what's going to give you the texture. And then let's open this one. And this one's still very wet. So you want to be careful because, you know, you could tear it. No lie. No lie. All right. And you can see the color parts on the back. I'm just going to glue that part down. All right. We'll use this one next. I'm just kind of lightly giving it a tug like that. And I'm going to tear this off, tear a little bit of that off for now. I'm going in. Get those edges. It just helps. And look how far up that'll go. get those edges it is so humid here it's taken forever for anything to do just anything anything probably wasn't the best day to do this but i'm working on it and i thought you know i got a couple requests on doing it and i thought why not i think i'm gonna do let me know what you guys think i think i might do an odd girl on the front i don't know um i'm not quite sure you know I have a couple ideas, so if you guys have any ideas of what I should put on the front, um, just words or a certain, I was thinking of that. I was thinking of my, you know, what I always say at the end, to be kind to each other. So I have a lot of ideas on this head of mine. Okay, so now you see I just need this part, and I'm just going to tear, start with a little, a little bit, because I don't need that much, and I'm just going to lay it down, lay it down. Lay it down, and I'm going in with the glue. Gonna get them edges. And then do it over here a little bit. And again, just a little bit up here. Because it's a little thick. Like me. A little thick. Thick in the bum, thick in the stomach, thick in the head, you know. All around thick. Again, going over where I just put, just going to try to get some of these bubbles out. Do on the edges. Holding this down because it's a little thick there. Okay. And no matter with the glue, it'll dry uh, nice and it'll just add. You know what I mean? So I'm going to move these for a second. 
and I'm just giving it a quickie with my heat gun or you can use your hair dryer, but honestly, it won't take that long. Be careful if you go to touch it as you're drying it, because as it dries, you're going to touch it with your gluey hand um, or fingers if you don't properly clean them off, which I never do until I'm done. Um, it'll lift everything up again if it's not dry. Okay. That's all for that. I'm going to rinse my brush, put that in there, close my paper. Mod Podge for now. Go sit here, buddy. Just right there. Okay, so here it is. And I'll show you. It's I made it just like we made the other one. And you can see on these edges, as I push them up, we can do one of two things. We can put a little glue with our Mod Podge paper or our glue stick, whatever, and we can fold them over. Okay, so that's an option for you. And then you'll see it has a real nice, which that's probably what I'm going to do. Or to have a really cool texture, you can rip it off and you have like that really cool ripped paper. Um, or you can just take a scissor and cut it off, whatever way you want. I'm going to glue what I can. So I'm just going over. Oh my God, my seat today. It's like crazy. I'm just going to go and run the glue stick right on these edges a little bit at a time. And I'm going in and I'm going to push it. My hands are sticky. <laughs> I say, don't do this. Your hands are sticky. My hands are sticky. All right. So one side at a time. And you can take your roly poly where I don't know where mine's at. You can take your, um, <laughs> I'm always prepared, uh, your little bony thing and just let that help you. It doesn't matter if this is not uh, as wrinkly because it's inside. And we'll probably put paper, I'll, I'll, pro I'll probably put paper down. Um, and then what you would do is, I'm just going to run it here. Run it on the paper. I'll show you one more time. And I will fold this little corner up. And then fold this up. So it gives you somewhat of a decent looking corner. Look, I'm not into my precision. I'm not precision-y. But you can see. Now, if you want to run another uh, bit of glue over top, either of your Mod Podge or your glue stick, whatever you have, you sure can. It isn't going to hurt nobody. That's what I'm going to see. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. I'm sticking. Okay, that's all I'm going to do there. I just wanted to show you. Oh, I need more glue sticks. And then, no, that'll stick there for now. When you turn it over, look how pretty that looks. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Yeah. Look at that. See the difference of like what this looks like and what this looks like. So it's really nice and square. Okay. So then what I like to do is I like to grab paint. Again, if you're using red, if you're using pink, if you're using blue, it doesn't matter. Green, it doesn't matter. But what I have are three shades of brown. And uh, these are the colors I'm using. Use what you have. Um, if you only have two colors of brown or, or a dark and a light or only dark, add a little like uh, white um, paint in it or a little cream colored paint because, and then just lighten it a little bit. You'll see. I'm going to save the darker for last. And then I have, this is burnt umber. This is nutmeg and this is teddy bear tan. So that's it. And I'm only going to work on this side right now because this side's a little wet yet. And I'm going to take a little bit. Now, come on, come on, okay. You can definitely keep it like this, and then you can just do some darkness on top with maybe the darker, maybe I'll do that on this side or down here just to show you. You can do it whatever way you want. 
I'm going to take my brush and I think, hmm, maybe I'll take a bigger brush. Never used this brush ever before. <laughs> it's a Liquitex brush they sent me for free. I'm not complaining, I just have never grabbed it. I'm grabbing it today though. This looks like, uh, um, yeah, it doesn't look that good. But anyway, um, I'm just going in and I'm just gonna go like this. Different ways, don't go the same way. Because we're just gonna do these colors. See, looks like baby poop. No, I'm not hurting anybody. I'm gonna rinse my brush. Rinse out. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. All right. It's like when you wear new shoes out to an event, and you're like, "Why did I wear new shoes out to an event?" That's why I feel today. Now I'm gonna put some nutmeg down. If, ooh, this is like I'm coming, baby. Um. If you're like, oh no, I put too much down. Let me see if I can just darken that a little bit. Take a paper towel and just dab. I'm dabbing for you, Ange, but you just dab, okay? So I'm gonna take a little bit and I'm gonna turn my brush over and get a little bit more, okay? And I'm gonna do the same kind of thing. Doesn't matter, I didn't let it dry. Let me see why. I didn't let it dry. Ooh, Beastie Boys, give me a call. Okay. Once you put it on your brush first, that's when you'll go over what you've already kind of done with the other color. So it mixes a little bit because you want that layered look Hold on. Get a little more just need a little bit here there we go so let me put this in my water and let me show you so far so you have an idea see how we're getting there now what i like to do is take a little bit of water squirt bottle just a little bit, and then I go in with my paper towel or art rag, whatever you have, and just lightly dab. And what this will do is blend it. Just a little bit. And like right here, I had it a little dark, so I just gave it a little swipe of a wipe. Swipe of a wipe. Well, let me show you and see if you can see a difference if my light will quit blowing everything out. It's really getting on my nerves, but look. Can you see? See how that's looking? It's looking good. And we haven't even added the dark in yet. That's okay. Okay. Oh, I love it. Okay. So now I'm going to take some of my burnt umber. This Oh, I, I don't know why all that just came out when I just shook it so much. There, my floop. I don't know what the heck's going on with that. I'll just take this brush right now. It's dry. I'm going in and I'm going to put this all over my brush. It must have been mixing it. All right. You see? Okay. And I'm going to hold my brush back and I'm going in. And I'm just going to hit the high parts, which are the wrinkles. See how pretty? And if you feel you need a little bit more, go in and pat that in there. Now, remember, go both ways because 
It's a lot more fun. And it hits different areas. That going down does not do. area down here. Make sure you get those ends because, you know, I can see right there I'm going to need lighter. Ooh, that just, when I went down instead of across, that really added. see oh yeah okay oh you know what would be fun i know i'm going to do one in a metal in those brushed metals that i did yesterday um i'm going to do a paper bag technique with that too oh i can't wait okay so i see like right here it's too dark i need lighter so i'm going to go back in i'm going to dry this off Ooh, a nice little brush here and i'm going to go in with the medium color and kind of just hit this all the way down. Now, this is when you want to look over here and say, gee, you know what? I might need a little more color here. And you just go in just the littlest bit and add it in. Just dab it in. It's not going to hurt anything. It's going to blend it. And I will go back. Like I know up here, it's a little dark. So I'm going to have to add some of the light. I don't know what the heck's going on here. So I'm just going to drag this through and then I'm going over here with some of that light because I'm just gonna then I'll drag the dark through a little bit more it's just kind of you know you're seeing oh you know because leather is not perfect it's you know I need a little light right here I'm just gonna add that in like that So now I'll go back in with some more. I've dried fast, just a little bit of water. I'll keep it on one side since I did. And I'm going to go back in. CPAP stuff. I'm recording. You wouldn't have known that. I didn't tell you. That was my husband. All right. So you see the CPAP stuff came. I heard somebody banging on the door. See? Oh, yeah. That is nice. Oh, I just don't even know if you can even really appreciate that. But I'll show you one more time when we do. But I'm going to do right here. And we're only going to do the uh, dark. I'm just gonna do another little. I'm gonna shake it. Oh, it's so it's, it's artist pigment, so it's a much thicker. It's not like the uh, craft paint, I guess. I don't know what. I mean, I know what craft. The difference of craft paint is with with uh, golden, um, but folk art does sell artist pigment, which is much more pigmented um, and doesn't have as much, um, you know, filler, I guess, in it. So that liquid stuff, that's what that is coming out, even though I'm shaking it really good. Okay. I will still use it though. 
So what I will do is I will take this, I'll just mix all that together because that's what it's all supposed to be. And down here, I'm just gonna very lightly, I'm holding it, I hold it back here because of the, uh, you know, it just makes a lighter touch for me. I have RA and fibro and, you know, sometimes my hands just don't wanna even be involved with me. They're like, go this way? No, we're going that way. All right, and I like to run it this way. And you can see that's beautiful. That's a very, you know, so you don't necessarily have to. Um, let's just make this a little darker right here. Now look what's happening. I'm muddying this up and I'm, it's happening because this needs to be dry. So it's a little too wet. I didn't give it enough time to kind of dry. So I'm just gonna real quick hit it. And Diane Ladd, you won the Paper Mod Podge. So send me your address and you will get your bottle of Paper Mod Podge to play with and love because it's fantastic. And also let me know, um, I had to put bring my old camera, my old webcam back in because my other one just isn't working as well. Um, I really need to get a new one. Um, and hey, if you'd like to support me, um, my Patreon link is down below. You can go support me uh, every month. Uh, it's for me to get new equipment so I can make better, you know, videos and that kind of stuff. So just a little plug there. Um, but uh, somebody had left me a comment that they can't hear my voice that good, that it goes in and out. Now, I know when I use my heat gun, it goes out a little bit because it adjusts to the sound. But in general, can you let me know? Because um, I don't know. When I play it on my end, it sounds fine. Um, but let me know. I mean, it could very well be a problem, but I just don't know. All right, so I'm going in with a little, a little darker. But Diane Ladd, yay! Send me your address. If you're on friends with me on Facebook, it's easier to do it there for me to find, or you can, my uh, email's down below. I'm seeing on this angle, like where I could use a little bit more dark. As you know, leather isn't like one color, you know? Okay. So I'm just going to lay these here. And now you have this. Oh, I love it. If you want to add a little bit more pizzazz. One second, I love I didn't lose my train of thought. I was just sitting here like, oh, I want this dry. I want to show you what this has to be dry. Oh my goodness, uh, Blitzy is having um oh they got all kinds of halloween stuff they have the tim holtz halloween stuff stamps stickers uh paper they have christmas stuff already if you don't know what blitzy is it's a great site to that sells um all kinds of arts and crafts like stamps uh stamp pads that's where i got all my uh tim holtz uh what are they called Distress oxides, they sell scissors, they sell watercolor paints, they sell brushes, they sell acrylic paints, all kinds of different brands, polymer clay, um, embossing stuff, uh, sewing, quilting, knitting, crocheting, uh, doll making. I mean, like the whole, they just sell everything. So if you're interested, the link is down below. Um, and it's just, just go look, just go look and see. I'd appreciate it. I buy from there all the time because I just absolutely love it. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to take some Artist Gloss. It's a varnish gloss. And if you have Mod Podge uh, gloss, you can use that. If you have any kind of gloss, you can use that. If you have Krylon spray, you can use that. It doesn't matter. But I want to show you a little area. Once this is on there. I'm only going to do a little bit because I don't know quite what I'm going to do on here yet. And you just do this. 
Make sure your paint's dry underneath. Let me do this corner over here and it won't bother anything. Oh, oh. It just makes it gorgeous. Like you, um, now I recommend you leave it air dry. It only takes 15 minutes or so, but I just want to get a little bit of that. Yeah. Oh gosh, love it. But look, can you see the gloss and how it makes it look? Look how pretty that is. It's gorgeous, it's gorgeous, it's gorgeous. And then I just, you know, you would fold it. Now here I have a smear, I've got a smear here. So what I would do is I would go in with a brush. I would make sure it's dry. All right. And this is how you do it. You just do it till you like it. I'm going to take some of that light color again, and I'm just going to kind of dab it in there. And then I'll clean my brush off again, just wipe it off. Yeah, I'm not going to so much wet it again. And I'm just going to kind of go over it. And it, takes it away and then you can go in a little bit more of the uh, medium color and pat it in and then if you want a little bit more of the darker color on it you can just lightly go over those little bumps and it will definitely it looks a little you know muddy right now but once it's dry and you put the clear on it's gonna look good Oh, I just love it. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm done sitting here admiring my work. No. Let's see. Can you see? Look at that. Look how cool that looks. Makes me want to make one of those Halloween books with like a big spider or something on top. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm just admiring it. Now. Look at that. I love it. I love it. And then here is the down part right here, the uh, part that we just put the dark on, which looks absolutely fantastic as well. And if you put a gloss on that, that would look even uh, more fantastic. And yeah, so that's the start of a new art journal that I'm going to have uh, up for sale. Like I said, you can see right here, it's glossy. Oh God, I just wish you guys were here so you could say it because it does add so much. And the camera just does not do it justice. And I am not, that is a little too dark still. So I'm going in with my finger. I'm just going to dab it a little bit. And your finger will kind of, yeah, there we go. Yep, I fixed that. I'm staying away from the bigger parts. Yeah, that fixed that. Oh, so much better. <clears throat> okay, so, so excited. All right, so um, let me know down below. Like I said, if you want to see this one, this is done. And please tag me. I am everywhere. All my information is down in the description. Tag me if you guys do something like this, whether it's an, on an ATC card, on an ATC um, swap, on a art journal page, on a cover, whatever you do. I would love to see it. Uh, and if you do it in other colors, you know, that kind of thing. What I love is that you can look at it and it dries and you can say, you know what, just like I did. Oh, that's too dark. I need to go. And you just sit and, and fidget and play until it's done. So I'm really uh, thrilled with this. And like I said, it was a popsicle box. You can use cereal boxes, whatever kind of boxes you have. So as always, please be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Diane Ladd, please message me for uh, to give me your address for your win of the Paper Mod Podge. Um, again, my Patreon is down below. And if you don't want to join, um, if you don't want to support me on Patreon and you just want to send me a donation, my Etsy is down below to go look and see if you want to buy anything. So is my PayPal. I appreciate anything big or small. It helps me so very much. And that's all I have today. Remember, we're talking about progress, not perfection. Um, and I'll let you know when these go up for sale. I just love you guys so very much. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you just found me, please, please subscribe. Click that button down below. Click the bell next to it so you can get notified when I upload, which is usually five to six times a week. 
I love you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.